So I finally got to watching the first episode of The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. It most certainly was beautiful, but at the same time, quite odd. Now, I did read the manga, and I will say that to see this getting an anime adaptation like the one we got is certainly unexpected. And yes, you could say I'm just coping and I'm on copium, but to be honest, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, those certain moments and those shots that they did were definitely odd and a little bit weird but for those who are saying that it's like trash and it just looks bad and it's bad animation you're a little bit crazy now i'm not saying you have to like it or really prefer how they are animating it but to just say that it looks bad bad? I would have to disagree. It does not look bad. It looks odd and weird for sure. Bad animation? No. I can't really say there was a lot of moments where I could really proclaim that it looked bad. I would say most of the time it didn't really look as amazing and beautiful as the beginning and those certain scenes and shots where the eyes are really, really well animated and they had a lot of vibrance to them. Yes, not the whole time it looked like that. And I think I saw something on Twitter saying that it takes away a little bit of the immersiveness of the anime, which I can definitely see because, like, in one scene, you're seeing how absolutely godly beautiful it is, and, you know, they're going all out on this thing, and then most of the time, it looks pretty normal, I would say. Like, just a standard anime adaptation. And I don't mean that in a negative way, honestly. If it looked like that pretty much the entire time, I wouldn't really be too upset with it. And to be fair, this is getting an absolutely insane adaptation because the manga, which I have read a little bit, and I don't mean this to be insulting, it certainly doesn't look as crazy good as the anime does in those certain moments. I wouldn't say the art style in the manga is really bad, but I think most people who have read the manga, or at least looked at it, can agree on that statement that it is really, I guess you could say, stepped up, or just weird why they would go so hard on this anime adaptation when the manga doesn't really look like that at all. In the beginning, when they were walking through insane looking and weird animation where it was like zooming in and out and the camera angle was going all over the place. I don't know the technical term for that. Would I prefer just it looking good all the time without all that weird crazy animation? Sure, I probably would prefer it. But at the same time, even after seeing that intro clip on Twitter a few months ago, I want to say, it didn't make me go like, oh my God, they ruined this anime. I'm not watching it anymore. This is total trash now. I still kind of had high hope for it. And you can say that's copium 100%. I still really enjoyed it. But the romance between our two main characters, I absolutely love it. And I think they are really capturing the cuteness and wholesomeness from the manga. Maybe not 100%, but it certainly isn't lost. And I know they're really going hard on the animation, but even so, I think the story is still being portrayed pretty dang well. I think the added animation, I can see from both people's perspective of adding on to it and making a more enjoyable experience because the the visuals are just so godly beautiful, but also it takes away from the experience because one, it's not really super faithful to the manga, and also it definitely gets you a little bit unimmersed or whatever the word is. Go from this absolutely beautiful moment with the eyes and with the slow animation of her hair, which we really did a lot of shots with her hair, and I will say it was definitely really good looking, and I enjoyed that as well. After reading a little bit of the manga and then watching this first episode, I can say that I'm not really disappointed by it. And I know probably a lot of people are, but personally, I thought it was nice. I thought it was good. I didn't really have too much complaints on it. And the music, I really, really love the music in it. I might actually have to look up the OST. So the girl I like forgot her glasses definitely can see a lot of people love this, but also a lot of people hate it for the animation mostly. I'm on the camp bat, really enjoyed it regardless of the weird animation choices that Gohans chose to do. And speaking about Gohans, while well, they made K and Handshakers. I didn't watch Handshakers, but I watched K, the first two seasons and the first movie. Absolutely loved it. So, them doing such a good job with the visuals, kind of what to be expected by them, I would say. Them just making everything super vibrant and pop out, I just kind of expected it from Gohans. So, the girl I like forgot her glasses, certainly can say that I enjoyed it a lot, and I just had a smile on my face the entire time, because how god dang good it looks.
but might not be for everyone. I can say, give it a shot. You might love it. You might hate it. But that's going to be it for the video, everyone. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, if you would not mind leaving a like and consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate that. I hope you all have a fantastic day, night, evening, morning, whatever the hell time it is for you. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.